God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Lord and Savior. The Lord and Lord and King of Kings, our Lord, Savior, Messiah, and Redeemer, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. So, you guys, this is uh, the most exciting times since the creation of Adam and Eve. This is the most exciting times or one of the most exciting times that has ever happened. And um, you have been uh, created and chosen to uh, be alive at this time. And it is um, all, all of us here play um, a certain role in the fulfillment of these scriptures and glory to God for that. And the, why, the reason why it's so exciting, you guys, to me, is because the kingdom of Christ is now manifesting and the evil in this world is, uh, is, is, is about to be judged and people who serve the Lord are about to be out of oppression soon and they are going to rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years just as the scripture says now how that looks to you are uh, or um what you're what how you believe that is going to be uh what it's going to look like that is something um that the spirit has to show you and reveal to you and you guys um i want to say you guys be care there is a lot of stuff out there you guys just as it says in the scriptures and as you can see um, very clearly that there is a lot of um, false prophet. There's a lot of false information, you guys. And so what I want to do is encourage you guys, you guys take um, your questions, your desire in your heart, even pray and fast on it, you guys, and ask the Lord to reveal to you what the truth uh, in this thing that you're seeking. Now, take all my stuff to the Lord and ask him, okay? Um, because you guys, there's a lot of people who are saying, oh yeah, this prophecy and this thing, and it's going to look like this, you guys. And uh, I, I, it's, and, and, you know, you're not going to be here for this. And this is for this. Per you guys do not believe that. Just take that stuff to the Lord, you guys, please. Because there's so much um, error and deception out there right now. So um, I wanted to share that. Um, to encourage you guys to see, get the truth from the Lord. Um, but you guys, I want to talk to you, you guys, um, a lot of people who are part of the remnant or, or the first fruits, God's first fruits, baby, sons and daughters, his children. Okay. You are probably going to be going through um, a lot of things right now, right? And I'm going to show you in the scriptures um, what I'm talking about, but you're going to be going through a lot of trials and tribulations and testing, but brothers and sisters, embrace these trials, embrace your cross, follow the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't exalt your feelings and your thoughts and your own perceptions above glorifying the Lord and doing his will and 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 glorifying his name right and exalt and holding his word above your feelings don't do that because that's how the enemy is going to sift uh many people out um because a lot of people because they're so used to acting on their how they feel and their emotions you guys and you guys that is going to prove you are going to see that that is going to prove to be one of the deadliest things and mentalities that you and it's so easy to do you guys it's so easy to do but um i want to um read this you guys know this is isaiah 65 and read this in context you guys don't let somebody tell you oh yeah this means it and and they chop it up and they take one sentence and they build their dot you'll see that dispensationalists and um uh, a lot of deceived people, they're going to just tell you one or two sentences and they don't like to read above or below it. Read what I'm going to share with you in context. Isaiah 65, 
and I'm going to start at a verse, but you read it in context, okay? But I'm going to start, I'm going to go from 8 to 12. Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in a cluster, and one says, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them all. He's talking about his servants, that they're not all going to be destroyed. Just like the Lord Jesus Christ said, um, not all of you will die, right? But some of you will see the Lord coming in the clouds, right? And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Jerusalem for Yehuda. This is a different translation. Uh, Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit, inherit it and my servants shall dwell there. So the servants of God are gonna dwell in the, in the promised land, you guys, the promised land that the Lord gave to our forefathers, promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is one of the most, you guys, we, um, we are most, uh, we are the part of what we are is the fig tree generation, you guys, okay? And remember when the Lord Jesus Christ says, this generation shall by no means pass away until all these things. He's talking, you guys, all of these scriptures, um, you know, many of them are being fulfilled uh, right now and have a lot of these have been fulfilled, but they happen again in the spirit. If it's already happened in the physical, it'll happen spiritually. But all of these scriptures, you guys, it's talking about that happening in the um, the fig tree generation, because it says um, in Isaiah 66, when you read the next chapter, that his people are going to live as long as a tree. They will wear out the works of their hands, right? That's why the fig tree generation is going to see a lot of scriptures, because um, you guys, the, the, the way that humans have lived in, in, our, in, our, in the past world, um, the world that's dying, that is not going to apply to God's people. They're going to live very old again, right? Because they're they're going to inherit the promises given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But listen to this, you guys. My servants shall dwell there, and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for the herds to lie down in. For my people that have for my people that have sought me. Okay, but you listen to this, you guys, this is people that um, that do not love the truth, that do not seek the Lord with all their heart, mind and strength that really don't. Um, they're more they they like their own ideas and their own thing above the truth and above the Lord. So a lot of them have already been handed over to a delusion. Listen to this, but ye are they that forsake the Lord that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for Gad, and that furnish a drink offering unto Menai. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and chose that which I did not delight in. Now, okay, so it says that will be handed over to the sword our brother our other believers you guys that that do not love the lord that do not love the truth and seek the truth with all their heart money even though the lord was convicting them and revealing all these things to them they chose to reject it right because remember the lord said they're handed over to the sword right and remember in revelation and i saw thrones that sat upon them and judgment was given to them and i saw the souls of them who had been beheaded for the witness of Jesus Christ and for the word of God. So these, you guys, these are um, brother, other believers it's talking about in Isaiah, right? But they didn't love the truth. This is why you guys have to love the truth. We have to love the truth above all things, above our own preconceived notion, above our own feelings, above our own anything. We have to love the truth and the Lord has to see that or he hands you over to a delusion and then you end up believing in something like, dispensationalism okay um but you guys i want to share something with you about what i was talking about in the beginning 
of this video where you, if you are a child of God right now, you guys, um, you're going to be going through um, a lot of different trials and tests and tribulations, right? To, it's, it's a refining process and it's scripture, right? I want to um, show you this. This is Revelation 11. And there was given, given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple of Elohim and the altar and them that worship therein. But listen to this. But the court, which is without the temple, right? So there's an outer court and then there's an inner, there's the part where the temple is, okay? And remember, you guys, you are live. We are lively stones. We make up, we um, build things in the spirit, right? So sometimes in scripture, in the spirit, we are referred to as a building or a measurement, okay? And them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the other nations, right? The outer court. And the holy city, right? The holy city, they shall tread underfoot for 40 and two months. The holy city, you guys. Well, who makes up? Do you make up the holy city? Right? And yes, you guys, this will talk about a physical land. But it is also talking about something else either. And you guys, um, I see that these things are happening now. That this, um, these, the um, God's children are going to be, are going to continue to go through many tests and trials and tribulations. You guys, they're going to be going through um, a lot of these things. So I want to encourage you, you guys, um, do not go off of your feelings. Do not go off of your emotions. You guys, if you, um, if you worship the lord that means that we'll do what it, what he says and we will believe in it and have faith in it if you worship the lord and you believe in the word of god you will not exalt your feelings above giving god glory above doing his will right so if you succumb to the attacks and and the things that happen maybe it's the people around you and your family out in the world uh, whatever they're doing, you guys, endure them and don't let them take your love away from your heart as you're going through these things. You guys be strong, okay? And pray, spend time in the presence of the Lord, you guys. Call upon the Lord and ask that his power of his spirit and his presence to come and just saturate, you guys. Saturate your time and in your whole body, your heart and your mind, your soul, your spirit in that environment and let him transform your heart so that you do not get um, angry and callous and cold when these attacks from these people, even your family members come upon you, okay? So you got to be strong, you guys. You got to endure to the end, okay? And, um, oh, shoot. How did that happen? Good. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so... Me, um, you guys remember, um, and because we're going through this, um, Matthew 24, remember these scriptures. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am anointed, I am a Shiach, right? And shall deceive many. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See to it that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. You guys, this is what we're going through right now. What we're witnessing, you guys, is the fulfillment of scripture. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and to kill you. Right? You guys remember this. Now, that's not... You know, we are all going through things that are afflicting you guys, but not everybody is going to die. But if that is the Lord's lot for you, if that is what is presented before you, you guys drink from the cup that the Lord presents um, before you. No matter what group, no matter if you're um, the first fruits children of God or what, it doesn't matter, you guys. Okay, we all have a role. We all have um, something that... Um, that is going to be presented before us that we must um, to choose out of the free will of our heart to accept and embrace, okay? 
and many shall be offended and betray one another and hate one another and many false prophets arise and deceive many okay but he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved and this is why you guys i pray for the spirit of perseverance endurance patience and long suffering pretty much every time i pray you guys and i want to encourage you to do the same be strong in all of your afflictions you guys do not go off of your feelings you guys if you exalt and glorify your feelings above doing the will of the lord above the word of god you guys that will surely lead to death don't do that, brothers and sisters. And if you pray, you guys, you have access. Each person has access to all the grace and all the power from the Lord God Almighty. You know, and so you can ask and pray for the spirit of perseverance, endurance, patience, and long suffering. And if you really truly love the Lord, you will spend time with him. It's it's called a relationship for a reason, you guys. And you should enjoy spending time with him. And if it's hard for you to do that. Ask the Lord to change your heart to where you would enjoy spending time with the Lord. I love you guys all so very much. God bless.